So I look busted, which is nothing new. It's morning time. We're gonna go get a 4-6 gear and pinion or pin ring and pinion or whatever the fuck you guys want to call it. But yeah, we're gonna go to Pig and Pool and you guys will watch us do that. Also, the ring and pinion is actually coming from a Nissan Xterra, just so you guys know. My poor ugly duckling. Oh, Then más cortos. Este, este sí lo puedes arreglar, ¿no? Lo jalas. Yeah, pero el frame. Someone put RIP. That's yeah. messed up. Se dobló y se dobló. Hasta dónde vas a ir? Third gear. I'm gonna put little fishies in there now. So yeah, this is her condition at the moment. I need to put this back together. And yeah, it's as good as it's gonna get. And this is all from Pop Tires. FML. You guys, this is my first time coming to Pick and Pull. I've never fucking been to Pick and Pull ever. I've always just picked and pulled off of this car. <laughs> this is cool. I like it here. What the fuck? Is this it? Yeah, that's it. No. What? They took it? Fuck yeah. They took it? Yep. That fucking sucks. Let me see what else was. That sucks. Uh, it's probably gone. Yeah. Can you look? So, they took it out already on that car. Which one are we doing? Another Xterra. Mm. Is this it? Gone. Gone? Fuck. Why do you guys have to fucking take them? All these fucking drifters. What the fuck, babe? Look at this Jeep. Burning Man. I kind of like the wheel. I kind of want to take the whole thing. Rebuild it. Put an SR in it. Look. That's kind of cool. So we're looking up if we can use the diff off of the Pathfinder. Pathfinder. I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. And then there was another one. It was I don't even know what car it is. QX4. I don't know what that is. But... I was reading a forum and it said that we can get them off that maybe, I don't know. We'll see. Okay, bye. It's already out, so... I don't fucking know. What are you reading? To see if I can take it off this one? Or if there's a specific year? Mm. Alright, so instead of leaving our plan is to pull the motor off and try and get to that diff. And we'll see. Um, we've been trying to read up on forums. Oh shit. It hasn't given us like that much information. So we'll see. Damn, look at those triceps. Making those gains. Look at that booty. <laughs> Thank you, booty. Look at that cut. Whoa, watch out. I wonder if they have IS300. No. We can take the seats out. Oh, yeah. We're so close yet so far. Now we're actually not that far.
Yeah, you don't want to know how we turned it on its back. We in literally the had it in there. Had to push the motor over, pull it out. Actually, after we had to take the fucking the coils off, pull it out, fucking flip it over. I'm on the. I wish I would have recorded it. You did, didn't you? No, my back's against that. Pushing against subframe. Now I'm making sure that the drive shaft isn't spinning. We got it. Call to see if we have a 4.6. <laughs> yeah, we don't even know if there's a 4.6 in here, but... They said there it would be. We're taking our chances. Ready? Go. So this is how we keep it from spinning. Alright. Teamwork, what would you do without me? Uh, wedge it in one of these fucking parts. <laughs> Thanks. Love, you need me. We didn't find a 4.6 and instead we found a 4.3. Guaranteed. Yeah, I think they know because this whole vlog was about getting this motherfucker off. So now you guys know. So the way that you find out, we actually opened the dip cover. And, and basically this is a 4811 and what you do is you just divide those numbers thanks and to Izzy, thanks to Izzy you have to divide the numbers to find out and so that's how we found out it's a 4-3 you got it let's see how strong you are cash us out and we'll get you your fucking gear and pinion guys Forty-eight, eleven. That still means. This. I mean, if you divide it, I guess it's still the same. Yeah, it works. Still like Forty-eight. So before you guys start hunting pathfinders and looking for the differentials on them, um, we're not a hundred percent this is gonna work. So I don't want to feed you guys the wrong information and tell you guys to do that. We learn from mistakes, right? And then that's how you guys will learn too. This might not work because for one, we've been researching and there's no one that's done it. There's a forum of some guy asking about an exploding diff. So yeah, it is a reverse cut and we don't want to, again, give you guys the wrong information if it's not going to work. So... I think we're just gonna conclude today and we will catch up next time. What's up, puto? So today we fucked up. So we're back again and last week was kind of a fail because obvious reasons. It was still fun, it was still an experience and now I know how to fucking do it so this time is gonna be like smooth sailing hopefully I don't know sometimes if you guys know working on cars something always has to come up but today we are going to be getting uh hopefully if it's still there a four six uh ring and pinion uh we just have to travel a little bit further for this one last week we ended up getting a four three out of the Nissan Pathfinder not that it wouldn't work we just don't know if it would work and we're not willing to risk it on my car especially since we're about a week out from the date that we're gonna be planning on driving basically the one that we got out of that Pathfinder is a reverse cut and if you guys don't know I'll probably insert like some photos comparisons or comparing a reverse cut versus a I don't know normal today we're gonna be going a little bit further to be getting that for six and hopefully it works out and basically, for those of you who don't know what the purpose of me getting this like 4.6 or the 4.3 or whatever, it's basically shorter gears or I don't know how to explain it properly. I'm going to wait until Daniel comes into the car and then I'll let you guys know or he'll let you guys know. Explain what a 4.6 or a 4.3 ring and pinion thing is because I don't really know so how to explain it. So the 4.6 and the 4.3 is a shorter gear drive that's in the diff the ring and pinion obviously the stock 240 has a 4.09 or some shit like that um, so pretty much with the 4.6 or the 4.3 since it's a shorter gear drive you'll accelerate faster and you'll be in a higher gear so for instance you got two cars one has a stock gear and pinion 
and the other one has a 4.6. The one with the 4.6 is going to be in third gear, while the one with the stock gear and pinion is in second gear still. And obviously, the one with the 4.6 will be accelerating a lot faster. So that's why a lot of people are starting to do the 4.6s now with KAs because it it compensates for that power that you don't have as opposed to having an SR with the stock gear and pinion you're turboed so you can pull off the line quicker um, and a lot of people are just starting to run them now another Ford 3 is this the only one they have? let's see hold on the front diff had it the XE has a 4.3. So we're good? Right Woo! Fucking excited. Gone. No. <laughs> You're fucking lying. I'm not even lying. You're fucking lying. I could have swore I just seen it. Oh my god, really? Is this the only one? Gone. Yeah, this is gone. We've been bamboozled.